At 240,000 miles, my 4 liter engine is certainly not new at this point. Now, I've never done a compression reading on this Jeep, but I'm about to go on a 2,000 mile trip to Utah and back, and I thought this would be a great opportunity to test this product, Restore. Here's I'm going to get my engine to operating temperature, hook up my compression tester kit, get readings off of all six cylinders, add this product, and then drive to Utah and back and we'll take readings afterwards and see if this stuff really does work and if it actually does restore compression. So the Jeep's been running for about 10 minutes and I just shut it off now that it's at operating temperature. We want to do this somewhat efficiently so we don't lose too much engine temperature. But especially with an old Jeep engine like this, once it's at operating temperature, it's going to stay hot for a while. So don't be in a super rush. I need some pliers on that one. With all the wires off, I can pull the spark plugs now. Now these spark plugs have been in here for a long time, probably 60,000, maybe 70,000 miles. I haven't taken them out since, so it'll be interesting to see what they look like. Number one looks pretty good. So all the spark plugs look pretty good, actually. I mean, they have a little bit of corrosion, if you want to call it that, just for normal use, but considering they have 60, maybe 70,000 miles on them, they're not in bad shape. Um, I might clean these up a little bit. Certainly don't need to be replaced. So with the compression tester, what we need to do is find the, the corresponding size to the plug, which looks like this. We're going to thread this in uh, one cylinder at a time and then turn the Jeep over. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do that. So this is the adapter that goes in, has the same thread pitch as the spark plug. and It's a little, a little bit obnoxious to get it in there because it doesn't hold in the socket, but... Just thread it in, get it decently snug. And then this is the end right here on the gauge with these O-rings that threads in and this is just hand tight. Okay, crank it over. I may, I may be cranking the engine more times than uh, necessary, but I can't see the gauge from inside, so I'm just making sure I crank it plenty enough times to get this thing fully pressurized. So 150 on cylinder two. Write that down. Alright, so here are the official numbers. Cylinder 6, 150, 5, 160, 4, 160, 3, 160, 2, 150. Cylinder number 1 was the lowest at 145. So with the official numbers recorded pre-restore, I am now going to add this to the engine oil, drive to Utah, wheel in Moab, and drive all the way home. And we'll repeat this and see if any of these numbers change. Now another claim to fame that this stuff has is that it will actually even out the numbers. So if that is the case, we should see cylinder number one become a lot closer to 150 or 155, 160 and have a, a much evener playing field. So that'd be really interesting to see if this actually works. And with that, the 1,000 mile journey from Oregon to Moab, Utah began. I arrived in Utah a few days early, spent some time exploring the, the back roads in the region, before meeting up with everyone else from Bleep and Jeep and Wheeling for a week in Utah.
driving back put another thousand miles making the journey 2,000 miles of highway and it ended up being close to 3,000 miles total with all the extra off-roading and exploring I did in the area. Immediately upon arriving home, I checked the compression again, and here are the results. So as you can see, there was no change in four of the cylinders. But the two cylinders, cylinder one and cylinder four, did increase in PSI. Cylinder four by 10 PSI, I checked that particular cylinder four times and every time it read 170. Why it increased that much, I have no idea. This video was not sponsored by Restore. This was a simple test to satisfy my curiosity and hopefully yours as well. If you guys have done a similar test with this product or something else, I'd be really curious to know what your results were. Uh, please leave them in the comments below. This certainly didn't seem to hurt anything. It's about, in my area, $9 a bottle for the six-cylinder formula. I think I'll continue to use it for about six months or a year and check the numbers again and see if it's increased them over time. If you guys want to see more off-road content from our trip to Utah this year, be sure to check the link in the description below to our fan ride video. We met up with a lot of great people out there and we had an awesome time. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up this video, subscribe if you're not already, leave a comment below.